14-year-old Angel Velez was stabbed to death on Wednesday afternoon. His best friend, Jalan, was there before he was killed. Jalan says he and Angel were leaving a store on Colonial Avenue and walking on Dorchester Street when a man the teens didn't know approached them. We were walking from the store and he came down to us talking like saying, you think you're tough? Can I fight all y'all right now? Angel st was standing up for us. Jalan says the man stabbed Angel, then ran. Police quickly arrived on scene, and Velez was rushed to the hospital, where he later died. 27-year-old Jamie Cintron has been charged with murder. Let me see you, 26, about 26. I did the math. You're in the early 50s. 
keeps trying like his dad is going to his dad his dad is in jail for murder for a similar situation. Killed eight, one of his friends and went to school with him. They would have all jumped on him and not say nothing to him. You know, like. Yes. 
really sorry. I know that's hollow for the loss you've suffered. So his attorney's trying to say that he was going to fight Andrew on a one-on-one. -on -one. Mind you, six feet tall, over 200 pounds, trying to fight um, a 5'5", 115-pound kid. He says he was trying to fight Andrew on a one-on-one -on -one and put the knife down, but feared for his life after realizing that somebody could have picked the knife up and used it against him, so he picked the knife back up. That's why Angel is a hero. In the footage, you can see him swinging the knife at different kids. Angel stepped up and tried to protect his friends. In the footage, you can see him swinging that knife at different kids. Somebody wasn't we leaving that day alive. Store. His mind was made up, and he was going to kill like one of those kids that day. Tough. Angel will always right live now. on. He will always Angel be our neighborhood hero. One of the Lesson's classmates Angel, telling Fox 61 she would always see Cintron initiating an argument with Velez and his friends. He would just always threaten the boys, saying that he wants to fight. He was just a really big troublemaker. Velez told Cintron to drop the kitchen knife and would fight him. When Cintron obeyed and the fight began, he at one point picked the knife back up from the ground and stabbed Velez. He had dreams. He wanted to do so much things. He was the type of person that if you were sad and said that you couldn't do it, he would encourage you to do it.